I mean, no one's gonna listen to what I have to say because my life is just regular. There's absolutely nothing interesting about me. I mean, they would click on the link for a second, but then they would just leave. Hey y'all, what's happening? Robert Kennedy the third here, RK3. If you haven't been to the channel in a minute, I work with leaders who need to deliver critical messages with confidence and small business owners who need to create more visibility for their brand through the art of storytelling. Now, when I talk about storytelling to people, one of the things that I hear quite often is, Robert, nobody's gonna listen to me because I just don't have anything interesting to say. There's nothing interesting going on in my life. I don't have this big dramatic story. I was born with all of my arms and all of my legs. Oh no, y'all ain't gonna get me to hold my legs up. <laughs> I didn't have a dramatic accident. I didn't have anything crazy happen to me. I live just a regular life. Well, here's what we want to talk about today. How do you mine your life to find interesting stories that connect with people and move them to action? Well, let's talk about four things. Number one, you can find stories in your life from a place of success. Think about a time that you succeeded at something, anything. It could have been the time that you learned to ride a bicycle. It could have been the time that you passed the test. It could have been the time that you got a gift. It could have been the time you got your first kiss. Anything in your life where you gain some level of success is a good place for a story. Number two, a second place that you can find a good story is a time when you failed. Yeah, people love talking about failure. People like hearing about the time that you messed up, <laughs> right? People just like knowing that they're not the only ones who screw up in their lives. And so they like to listen to stories of failure because it makes you and them seem human. So is there a time in your life where you messed up? Is there a time where you failed a test? I remember for years, I had failed this chemistry class in college. And for years, I didn't talk about it because I was scared that people would look at me as a screw up. And so I never talked about it. I hid it. But the truth is, I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't go back and change the grade. I couldn't go back and change the time. I couldn't do anything. The only thing that I could do was talk about what I did after. I could talk about the summer class that I took to bring my grade up. I could talk about the study groups that I was a part of to really help me understand the concepts a bit better. I could talk about the fact that this was how I knew I didn't want to go to med school. So it's okay, talk about your failures sometimes. The third place in your life that you can find an interesting story is a time maybe that you learned a new skill. Maybe you learned how to cook a specific meal. Maybe you learned how to wrap a present. Maybe it was a time that you learned how to make your bed for the first time. You do make your bed, don't you? All of us have moments in our lives where we just, we just don't know all of the information. And so hearing a story about somebody who navigated a new skill, all the things that happened in that situation. Maybe you were going for your license and you learned how to drive a certain style of vehicle or a certain type of car. All of that is great information for sharing stories with people. Now, the fourth place that you can find a story in your life is interesting. It may not be that the story happened to you, but you might have been around the story. You might have seen a story happen to somebody else and you can tell the story of a situation that may have happened to somebody else through your eyes. For example, maybe you have siblings and something happened to one of your siblings and you saw how they navigated. You saw how they persevered. You saw them muster up all their strength and pick up themselves and fight through to get to success and it inspired you. Stories where people can see the world through your eyes and stories that tell about a time where you were inspired as well is a really good way to connect with your audience. So I've shared with you four places in your life that you can find stories that don't have to be the dramatic kind, okay? What are some other places that you think you can find stories in your life? I'd love to hear what you think. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button and smash that bell so that you can get notifications every time I drop a new video. And don't forget to come on back to the channel where we talk about the techniques and the technologies of storytelling. I'll see you in the next video.